What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back here with another banger video. As y'all seen today's title and thumbnail, I'm going to be showing y'all how to prevent Shopify from holding y'all funds and reserving y'all funds. I know a lot of y'all probably got hit by the Shopify Rico. All my clothing brand owners, you guys do know what I'm talking about. Shopify has been holding a bunch of people funds like crazy recently. So I'm basically just going to be showing y'all how to prevent it. They have personally reserved my funds too as well. I know a lot of people have been asking me to make a video like this. So I'm basically like, what do I do if they owe my funds? Basically just explain more in depth on what it is what well, is not no really real way how to prevent it but i'm just going to be showing y'all like how to make sure you guys are like less likely to begin your funds on hold because all it is is literally chargeback the main source of everything is chargeback so i'm basically just going to be explaining that in this video my funds have been on hell two times recently they have held over like twenty thousand dollars for me total bro like what they would do is basically what you guys get a certain amount of chargebacks they will literally hold your funds on reserve reserved for either 30 days 90 days 120 days to basically to help the risk or something like that i'm pulling up screenshots of like the emails they say so a bunch of clothing brand owners have been receiving these emails it could either be from chargebacks it could either be from like let's say like you have like a random spike in your brand it could be from your account it's just a bunch of ways your account could get on hold like most of the clothing brand owners their accounts get hold because of chargebacks bro all they need is literally one percent bro if you have a chargeback rate over one percent then your account is literally gonna get hell bro like it's crazy bro so this means bro for every 100 orders you cannot have two chargebacks let's say if you have 100 orders you drop let's say if you have 100 orders and you do a drop and two people charge back if two people charge back your account is literally going to be whole if your account does not like let's say if two to three people charge back you're there they will literally put your account on hold bro they will put your account on hold. They'll put your account for more than more than 30 days or 90 days. They may, depending on like how, like what your percentage is, they will. I know my, my percentage was a, a lot of people get 100% taken. It just really depends on the type of brand, but you either get 100% taken, you either get 25% taken, or you get like 10% taken. What this does, I'm gonna put on like a little screenshot. It's like a little reserved fund section, bro. It's literally on your payout. As soon as you get it, it's like the worst thing, bro, because you just sit in there and every single time you get a payout they take money from your payouts you can't touch that money for however long they tell you bro it's literally like shopify putting you in timeout or something bro like literally you can't touch that money like literally if you get 100 orders and let's say you get three chargebacks bro you're done literally that's how everybody gets got cooked in this situation like i know a lot there's a lot of brand owners that currently have reserve funds and a lot of people that are off it but what i have found that worked for me is i really just started to use like fraudulent apps and you really just have to die down on the chargebacks bro you guys have to try your hardest is not to get the charge back like i'm telling you guys there's a bunch of ways on how to like enhance your website and how to make your website better to like not get more chargebacks but like for me they take they take 20 percent of my payouts every single time i get paid out they take 20 percent of it and they hold it so it's crazy bro a lot of people have 100 percent, so a lot of people can't touch their money at all but like they hold it for like a 130 days bro they hold it for three months bro so literally every three months i'm having like 20k 30k being paid out because they hold every single like bro it's crazy bro shopify they need to stop doing that bro literally make sure your website has a clear policies make sure your shipping policies is there i would suggest y'all get some shopify apps to help y'all to like die down on the chargeback and the fraudulent chargebacks i would suggest you guys it's gonna be like a picture on the screen right here but definitely you guys get the fraud app i'm gonna put a picture up definitely get that app bro i use it it's basically so like you no know, fraudulent orders gets by every single fraudulent order that gets automatically canceled i really don't get no high risk orders bro because at the end of the day you don't want no high risk orders bro it's not worth it to fulfill it you will get your funds on hold if you get chargebacks because of a fraud order you get your funds on hold they don't care if you win a chargeback or not they don't care then there's gonna be a chargeback fee everybody knows the chargeback fee is like 15 dollars bro so you got to take an extra 15 dollars out your pocket so you don't want to get that chargeback bro make sure you guys have the terms of service box i know i'm gonna put up pictures of the screen but basically it's just like a terms of service so where you check it you're aware of all of these like all the terms and services and shipping like you check it like the customer checks it at checkout basically just make your website as clear as possible like don't be trying to sugarcoat things bro if you shipping people will charge back if you taking too long for shipping bro so make sure your shipping dates is correct make sure you on top of customer support it's just everything that ties down to trying not like do not you guys don't want to get these chargebacks because chargebacks they will hold your funds bro you get a lot 
will hold it 100%. They gonna hold your funds for like three months, bro. I promise y'all. It's not worth it. I have a clear shipping. I'm gonna put a screen recording of like my website up so y'all could go ahead and see like do not fulfill high risk orders. Like I'm telling you guys, there's a bunch of things you guys do. Make sure your terms of services is clear so everybody knows the shipping policies. If you see a high risk order, I used to fulfill them when I first started, but I didn't realize like the chargebacks was really gonna be going crazy. And when I tell you guys, Shopify support is not helpful at all, bro. I'm telling you guys, Shopify support, they're really the only way to really go through this is either through Shopify support because they can it's a possibility that they can take it off but bro their support sucks bro they do not respond at all bro or you could literally just die down on the funds and you're gonna have to wait that wait time if you get three chargebacks you better get 300 orders bro you should only be getting one chargeback for every 100 orders so I get more orders than I do get chargebacks so that's why mine most likely gonna be taking me off the next time they're not gonna be holding my funds the next time because my chargeback rate is all the way down what has went crazy down because nobody has been charging back recently because i've been shipping get off like two weeks so we gonna see i'm gonna do a whole nother video update on y'all if they put me back on it bro they, like this is crazy bro they be holding funds like crazy so definitely have a website clear bro make sure your customers know what you are buying bro like it's crazy how people could literally charge back if they got something and just like mess up your whole company mess up your brand mess up your money it's just crazy bro so definitely it's something we us brand owners we just got to deal with what people have been doing like i see one way people can uh, have prevented it is actually switching payment providers bro if you guys don't want to work with shopify it does i feel like they do do it over with stripe too as well but uh, what a lot of people have been saying is like let's say you get your funds on reserve right with shopify payments because a lot of people use shopify payments because that's the shopify normal could actually switch over to stripe go to stripe and your um, payments will not be held but if you do have the chargeback rate your funds will get held on stripe too so don't think just because you switch to stripe then your funds won't be on held like if you get a chargeback rate higher on, on stripe too as well then they will reserve your funds on stripe but what people have done if they get their reserve funds held on shopify they just switch over to stripe and then boom we'll go over there but they are more lenient to taking it off so that's what i've heard from a couple of brand owners like they have took off they're more lenient towards it i never tried it because i never switched out from it i'm gonna just stay on shopify payments so literally just have clear communications on your website you make sure you have all the shipping information there if it's pre-order make sure they know it's pre-order make sure you have the check box on there basically just a lot of things you could do to make sure your website is clear and they know what they're getting so nobody's complaining about three week shipping nobody's complaining about the shipping time because they know that is there they know there's no refunds they know all that stuff get that shopify apps if you got all those apps and you cutting down on chargebacks that's the whole thing this goes all from chargebacks basically just how to um prevent shopify from holding your funds there's no really way to prevent it other way other than just not getting chargebacks and switching over to your payment processor but i hope this kind of like kind of like a quick rundown on basically just letting y'all know what is happening with the shopify reserve funds hopefully y'all understand it now i want to bring this to light because i know a lot of brand owners have been asking me about this pre-order yes you still do pre-order bro if you do pre-order just make sure your website is clear bro the only thing you need to do make sure your website is clear make sure you guys are giving people accurate de details accurate information bro because you guys don't want chargebacks bro chargebacks lead to them holding your fund literally y'all see it in the screenshot they say it themselves because a lot of y'all been asking me y'all been like yo can we do pre-order can we do pre-order is pre-order dead no pre-order is not dead bro you just got to explain on your website just clear communication the only reason people were saying pre-order was dead because people was getting held on reserve because people wasn't getting their hoodie people was charging back so clearly over one percent charge back rate that's the crazy part about shopify bro is it's shopify but we got to deal with it bro if you want to stay on shopify you got to deal with it so yeah, it's unfortunate thing that we got to deal with, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, it is going to be the end of today's video. Let me know down below what you guys want to know next. If you guys have any ideas, if you guys like have any questions, if you guys want me to make anything on like a certain video, let me know down below. And I do have uh, two more spots in my mentorship. If you guys do want to scale your clothing brand with one-on-one -on -one with me, five to six figures. We already got eight people in there. So I'm told y'all it's only going to be 10 spots, bro. So we wasn't capping. Two more spots left. So if you guys do want to sign up, we're only picking out specific people so if you guys want to sign up go on the link down below if you guys miss a spot i'm not doing this ever again this is the, probably like the only time you guys are going to get it this cheap probably over the next year it's probably going to be way higher for like, like a way higher price you know what i'm saying you get everything for me you get mentor basically you just get my number hit the link down below all that good stuff hit that like button subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one your steppers need to start present pills to live up to their title i'm simon cow to these niggas on american idol i hit Givenchy, all black playing scrubs on vinyl had a black girl at 18 somebody go ask nigel i scraped my tesla the other week i blamed it on queen nigel x
marks the spot that need to buy a metal detector I'm with the five star gang, I'm finna call Lester She sits kicked in, I ain't blink yet, now my eyes hurt Fuck to this, she asked me for a tip, now I'm giving wise words Nigga asked for a fade, I had scratched my head Tried to swing with his right arm, but I made him use his leg 70,000 on the stairwell, wheel, my pockets made it still Never breaking, like I speed chase, running from the jakes I see more hundreds on the front end, and I see black bitch laces